Good morning, folks. We've got several things to hit today. We're looking at more information on the solar impacts to Earth, a new video from Sky Scholar, and a single recurrent Nova star. But of course, we've got the rundown on the last 24 hours on the sun, minor flaring only. We've got the development of a dual coronal hole scenario and a sizable plasma filament. There is one possible CME directed at Earth, but it was very weak. Let's run that down here in a bit more detail, starting with the two big coronal holes crossing central heliographic longitudes. 211 angstrom shows it best. Large dark areas here have an excellent chance of enhancing the solar wind towards the end of the week. We'll be watching for that, plus any minor enhancements from this slow but wide area coronal excitement seeming to indicate a minor CME release. Coronagraphs show a faint emission, looks to be a possible Earth-directed component, but it would certainly be minor. We're also watching for other eruptions, not only from the sunspots, but from this growing plasma filament on the south incoming. This one is turning in to face the Earth, will also be in the next couple of days here. Hopefully we recall that yesterday we hit the massive far side eruption that we said was likely going towards Venus, Jupiter, Solar Orbiter, and Bepi Colombo. This is confirmed on the endless spiral. It's already hit Bepi. Venus is being impacted right now along with the Solar Orbiter. Jupiter will take its hit in about three or four more days. Fingers crossed Bepi is okay. We've got more news coming from the great solar storm earlier this month. Seems it heavily impacted seafloor technology, from cables to cameras to seismic detection devices. Reports starting to stream in from across the world of that induction effect, from the bottom of the sea to the top of the sky, where the latest thermospheric climate index shows that we have surged way past last solar cycle now. It's important to remember that the solar flaring and CME activity is about the same, actually a bit lower than last cycle. The greater effects we're seeing now are due to the weaker magnetic field of Earth and the ongoing magnetic pole shift, allowing the sun to hit us just a little bit harder. Got an interesting text message last night from Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille over at Sky Scholar telling me about a new upload, and folks, it is highly complex, but it hits both the Genebekov effect, the flipping back and forth of spinning objects, and the potential for solar micronova events. Very solid work from one of the world's best. It is linked for you below. And last but not least, this is a great Easter egg for veteran observers who have done their homework and seen my clips on how they don't know Nova. Add a cherry on top as they found a single star, a red supergiant, with repeated mass loss events. Basically, a recurrent micro-Nova without a binary. Basically, the exact opposite kind of star than a white dwarf. That's big. Another confirmation of the potential. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.